Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install R and R Studio on Windows 11 step by step. Well, R is a programming language and environment for statistical computing and data analysis. R Studio is a powerful ID that makes working with R programming easier, offering features like script editor, console and visualization tools. Well, let us first install R and then we'll install R Studio to work with R programming. So let us open the browser over here. I have opened Chrome browser. You can use any browser that you want. In a new tab, just type R Studio Download. Hit enter and go ahead and click on the first link. It will head over to the official website. And here you can see R Studio Desktop. Just scroll down. So first we need to install the R and then later we'll install R Studio in order to work with R programming. So let us go ahead and first download and install R. So just click on this download and install R button over here. And it will navigate to the one more website. So here you can download R as per your operating system. So we are going to download and install for Windows. So here just click on download R for Windows over here. Next you can see different distributions over here. So if you are installing R for the first time, then click on base over here. And next, just click on this download R4.4.2 for Windows link. So this will download R as a exe file. Okay, so just wait a second to complete the download. Well, notice here the exe file is downloaded. Next, let us open this exe file in the folder. Next, double click on this exe file. And let me minimize. Next, choose the language English. Click on OK. And here click on next and here we need to choose the destination location so let us keep this default as it is if you want to change you can use the browse button to change the destination location next click on next button next select components so let us keep all these selected components as it is and this you know installation requires 180 MB disk space next click on next button next startup options do you want to customize the startup options no so just keep no as selected and click on next and here start menu folder name so let us give this r as a start menu folder name as it is if you don't want to create a start menu folder just tick mark it next click on next button and here select additional task so let us give all these default selected as it is next click on next button over here and the installation is begin let us wait a couple of seconds to complete the installation. Notice here the installation is completed. Next click on finish button over here. Now we have installed R on Windows 11. Next let us install R Studio. So let us go back to the official website and here install R Studio. So just click on this download button over here. So this will start downloading the R Studio exe file. So let us wait a couple of seconds to complete the download. Well, notice here the exe file is successfully downloaded. Next, let us open this exe file in a folder and just double click on it. And let me minimize other windows. Next, welcome to R Studio setup. Next, click on next button over here and here destination folder. So let us keep this destination folder location as it is. Next click on install button to begin the installation. So just wait a couple of seconds to complete the installation. Notice here R Studio has been installed on your computer. Next click on finish button to close the setup. Next let us verify whether the R and R Studio successfully installed on Windows 11 or not. In order to do that just open the R Studio. So go to the search bar and just type R Studio and just select this R Studio app over here and this is asking R Studio requires an existing installation of R so we have already installed it so just keep this selected as it is that is use your machine's default 64 bit version of R and next click on OK and here you can see R Studio is successfully launched and it is asking enable automated crash reporting click on S button and here just maximize it and here let us write the 
statement print and then pass some string over here let us say hello world so this is how we can print a hello world using our programming and then hit enter and here you can see hello world is printed and notice here the hello world is printed but this string has a double quote so we can ignore the double quote by just passing the argument quote equal to false and just hit enter and here you can see hello world string without included in a double quote this means that we have successfully installed r and r studio on windows 11 machine all right great i will see you in the next video